For Mashable, I'm Adam Falk. Google kicks off its 2012 I.O. conference with some new hardware, skydiving, and something on a podium covered in a white sheet. Surprises aside, it's no surprise that the company is reporting 300% growth in Android activations year over year, and 1 million activations daily. Developers are anxiously waiting the Developers are anxiously waiting Google's latest mobile OS, Jelly Bean 4.1. However, where Google adds sweet, it also wants smooth. That's where Project Butter comes in. Google has declared an all-out war on lagging. Butter, along with Jelly Bean, will deliver 60 frames per second across the OS, triple buffered graphics, and the CPU will ramp up instantly on user input. And here's to hoping it doesn't impact your phone's battery life. Other features to look forward to, increased support for Android Beam, more interactive notifications, and Siri-like answers from Knowledge Graph. Of course, Jelly Bean wouldn't sound as intriguing if it didn't have a slick new tablet to run on. The Nexus 7 is the first tablet from Google. It's built in partnership with Asus and sports a 1280 by 800 pixel display, a Terra 3 quad-core processor, and 9 hours of battery life. Not to mention its $200 price tag will directly compete with Amazon's Kindle Fire. Keep thinking Nexus, but this next product isn't a tablet. It's more of a sphere. Nexus Q is the first product designed and built from the ground up by Google. It's a tiny little cloud-connected computer that sits by your TV that you control with your Android phone or tablet. Google is billing it as a one box or one orb solution for all of your music, movie, and TV show needs. And with Q, your watch and listen playlists are collaborative, meaning your Android carrying friends can access your Q through their phones using near field communication. The Q is priced at about $300. During the keynote, Google also celebrated its social network's first birthday. Tomorrow, Google Plus is plus one. Its biggest gift, a native tablet client. Check it out. The app will be available to Android tablet users starting Wednesday. The iPad version is coming soon. But when Sergey Brin appeared on stage wearing Google's secretive glass project, the fun really got started. As Brin demonstrated, not only can you start and participate in Hangouts with glass, you can also do so from an orbiting blimp. This presumably requires some extra networking hardware. Glass isn't available yet, unfortunately, but developers at the conference had the option to pre-order an unfinished version of the device for a cool $1,500. Oh, and they walked away with a Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 7 tablet, and a Nexus Q apiece. For Mashable, I'm Adam Paul.